Okay, it's the Morning Brew. Welcome back. Uh, I'm Larry Ahrens. Uh, this portion of our show is brought to you by the Albuquerque Theater Guild. If you want to know what's playing around town on stage, there's the uh, website URL, abqtheater.org. The Albuquerque Theater Guild, your guide to live theater in uh, the Duke City. And with us today, we have uh, Lori Stewart, who is an actor with the Ox Dog Theater, and uh, Michael Miller, who is a, a, a director, an actor himself. And uh, we're going to talk about a bit of a sensitive subject today, which is yep. uh, about the show called, how do you pronounce it, Night Mother? Mm -hmm. Night Mother. That's exactly yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And it deals with suicide. Yes. And tragedy and conflict. Um, uh an adult daughter and a mother living together after her divorce and uh, she announces uh, pretty early in the show just a few yeah. moments into the show and very calmly that she's going to kill herself in a couple of hours and then the show unfolds from there My goodness. Jesse announces to her mother this and then the fight is on to this save is a Tony life. award winning play uh, no no uh, Tony nominated, nominated but a Pulitzer Prize winner Yes. Wow. Uh, Marcia Norman uh, wrote this in 1983. It opened and played Broadway. They've done a movie with it. Oprah's going to do it next year um, on Broadway with uh, Audrey McDonald. And uh, I think our show is probably on par with most of those. Yes. Actually, I'm a little biased. I think it's better <laughs> than that. But it's more about the relationship between these two women than right. it is about the the actual physical um, act of suicide it does explore the reasoning behind it but it's the relationship that causes it that I think is probably the primary point we're trying to push the uh, obviously there's a lot of drama a lot of edginess to this Lori what do you yeah. play in the in Production. I play Jessie, the daughter, uh -huh. and Nanette Mordaunt, uh, uh -huh. who, if you see a lot of theater in Albuquerque, you'll know who she is, plays the mother. So your character, from the very beginning, is, is trying to, are you trying to talk your mother out of it? Or no, no, trying she's trying to talk me out of it. I see, you're the one. Jessie has made up her mind that she's this is it, she's done. Okay. Yeah. Um, how do you bring that to the stage? How do you get your mind into that? Uh, I, I know you're a professional actress and you do Well, this, that's how you do it. Yeah. You just, what I do anytime I, I play a role is try to find that piece of me, no matter how small, that's sort of like my character. And that's right. kind of the bridge between me and that person. So, yeah, there are parts of me and Jesse, although I'm not going to go home and put a gun to my head tonight Certainly. or anything, but there are pieces of her that are like me, and so I can relate to her and speak up for her and tell her story in an honest way. Wow. Yeah. I think there are elements of, of this relationship that... that um, may hit home with a lot of our audience, uh, not the exact um, action of, of a suicide, but the, the uh, contentiousness of a mother-daughter, father-son relationship is there. And what happens in this thing is that they've talked at each other for years, and now they really talk to each other. Because there's a love at, at the, the basis of the relationship, and uh, just conditions have brought it to this. Uh, that was my next question. Do, 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 does this mother and daughter love each other? Do they like each other? Are they, how are they? They joined? love each other all the time. I think there yeah. are moments in their lives where they actually like each other. <laughs> 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 but they always uh, love each other. Uh, <laughs> Obviously the drama is what we're, we want to see on, in this this play. This is what we're going to go. We're going to see some performances here, I think, that are pretty remarkable. This play is an outstanding character study for two women, and you will see the drama. You'll see the, the, the relationship as it morphs from this talking at to talking to phase. And uh, Are there other people involved? Is there anybody else in the cast? Uh, that's it, two this people. It. The, the two movie it. added some additional people because that's what movies do. But yes. uh, for stage, it's just two people. No kidding. Yeah. 
Wow. Just learning the lines. What's yes. The <laughs> Once you're out there, you're out there. <laughs> we're out there. <laughs> An hour and a half. Uh, we're good. Just two of us. So, Nanette and I started early in February. I bet you did. Mm -hmm. uh, as you've rehearsed this, how do you feel afterwards? Uh, mm. As you, as you get out of character, but what, I think are it's you easier for me to divorce myself from it when it's over, sort of shake it off, than it is for Nanette. She always needs a great big bear hug <laughs> when we're all done. Um, it, it can be emotionally draining, um, and at various points throughout, it is for both in the process of presenting yes. this, this story. Um, Nanette has a rougher ending than Lori does, and so uh, it takes her a few minutes to recover. Yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. Um, have, have you put, as the director, have you put anything different, any different twists in this? I, I, it, it, twists, no, probably not. Uh, one of the things that, that uh, I did do with this particular, since it's a character study and it's primarily about the relationship and how these characters are connected to each other, we concentrated on the relationships and the characters, and I didn't block the show. Uh, that's a theater term, of course, for telling people where to go and, and how to move. Uh -huh. uh, I let the ladies do that themselves based on, you know, the general set and where they felt they would be at any point in this conversation. What is the set? Is it a living room? It's a living room kitchen. It's, it's a, a reminiscent of a studio apartment is actually I what see. it is. Uh, in that it's got uh, one room with a living room on one side and the kitchen on the other and a a table in the middle uh -huh. where a lot of the action takes place. My goodness. Um, so we find out right at the beginning that the daughter wants to commit suicide. Yes. Um, what, how do, as an audience, and I'm trying to put myself in the audience here, how, how do we know what happened to drive you to that point? Do you explain? Yes. Okay. Um, she, she reveals all of her reasons for for wanting to move on as the show develops. So, yeah. So the story is told, and, and and the relationships revealed, and the reasons like peeling layers off of an I onion. See. I see. And when you get to the core of the onion, then you get the real meat of the relationship. What do you expect the audience reaction to be when it's over? Um. I hope, <laughs> I hope they'll be sobbing like our <laughs> Vicky Liberatore, who's yeah. the producing artistic director at Oxdog, sat in on rehearsal what Monday night I on think our it was Monday, one of yeah. our uh, first run-throughs right. on our set. She was yeah. sobbing by the end of it, and, well, and we hope that will move people in that way. Good. Bring your tissues. Yes. And, um, yeah. When do you open? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. June this 13th runs through the 29th, Fridays and Saturdays, Sunday matinee. Well, this is obviously very compelling. And, uh, it is. It, yeah. the, there, there's another interesting element about it from a, an outside standpoint, and that this young lady is actually yeah. my daughter. Not just my director, but also my daddy. <laughs> oh, well, happy Father's Day then. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it, added a, it added a different element. And my to mother it. designed the set. Wow, it's a family it's affair. A family affair. Always Thank you bo both for Thank being you. here. Thank, Thank you. Larry. Michael Miller and uh, Laurie Stewart, Ox Dog Theater, the show Night Mother. This uh, segment brought to you by the Albuquerque Theater Guild. We'll be right back.